Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a screencast using a free website called Screencast-O-Matic. So as you can see I'm here on my computer and I'm going to go into Google and search for Screencast-O-Matic. It's a free website. It allows you to create screencasts and screen recordings. So here's the link, Screencast-O-Matic. And you can see here we are at the website, screencastomatic.com. And you can see that it will allow you to create a video of anything that you are doing on your computer and it will allow you to share that video with others. There is a paid version of Screencast-O-Matic. I use the free version. I don't pay for anything on this website at all. You can create a login uh, to try Screencast-O-Matic. Usually you can just start recording. You can hit this button right here and begin recording anything that you are doing on your screen. Now you may be wondering when should you use a screencast? Well I'll tell you what, I started using screencasts several years ago with students. Anytime you need students to do something on the computer or if you want to share directions with other educators about something that you can do on your computer it's much much better to make a screencast than it is to video yourself doing that most of the time. Anytime you want to share a website with um, other people it's going to be better to use a screencast. So I'm going to hit the screen recording button right here and you're going to notice that it takes me to a page where I have the option to launch the recorder or to go pro. Again, I don't pay for anything at all on this website ever. Um, I want to point out here that I do have a um, language option and I'm going to launch the recorder. Notice that it's going to ask me to download the launcher and I'm going to click the web launcher recorder.exe to start. I want to point out here if I haven't done so already that I am using Google Chrome. Do notice here that I have paused for a few moments to allow the web recorder to get started. Be patient, it can take Screencast-O-Matic a few minutes to get up and running. So now you can see that the web launch recorder is going to start up and now you can see that here's the recorder and it's actually picking up my microphone. Now I want to mention that you do need to make sure that you have a microphone um, connected. You can use a variety of different kinds of microphones or if you're using um, a laptop you can use the internal microphone. So here's the recording screen you can see that I can take the screen with the black and white bars around it and I can size it around my desktop to record any specific part of my screen. Okay, or I can click the size option and go full screen or the active window. Notice that I've got options. I can also set a time. The basic recorder captures up to 15 minutes at a time. And when you're making screencasts, um, from my personal experience, I can tell you that that is plenty of time. You typically don't want to make a screencast that's going to last longer than 15 minutes because I'll be honest with you, no one is going to watch it. Um, one last thing that I want to point out that's necessary is that you can uh, record just the screen without your webcam. If you've got a webcam, you can turn it on. You can record your screen and your webcam if you like. When you're getting started, you don't need to worry about the preferences. There are some preferences here. If you're just getting started, I promise you, you probably won't want to worry about these. But if you really, once you really get into screencasting, you can come in and do things like set up a key on your keyboard to pause the screencast and so on. Make sure that the green bars are flashing when you talk. 
do a couple of practice screencasts to make sure that you have the volume just right. From personal experience, the first time you get on a new computer um, and plug in a microphone, you need to figure out the proper setting. So do a couple of 60 second or 30 second practice screencasts to make sure that you have the volume just right. Record what I'm about to do on my screen. I'm going to go down to the bottom left and hit the record button. Screencast-O-Matic just counted down and said go. And so now I am recording everything that is on my screen using Screencast-O-Matic. And what I want to do during this section is just to show you the tutorials because if you want to learn more about Screencast-O-Matic, if you really like this idea, the cool part is that they have some help on this website. There are in fact nine videos that will show you and break down how to create screencasts on this website in more detail. These are super helpful. You can watch these before you get started with screencasting or you can refer to these at any time. And the best thing about the tutorials are that they're like a friend sitting next to you at your computer helping you. And you can even pause them if you need to, go back over anything that they cover as many times as you need, or go forward and use these in any way that you need. Once I'm done making my screencast, I'm going to hit the Done button. And as you can see, here's my recording. Here is my screen that I just recorded. Here's the video of my recording that I just made. And here's the audio of my recording. So there's my recording. So you may be wondering now, you've made a recording. Now what do you do with it? So here you go. Here are your options. You can save this as a video file on my computer. I can upload this to screencastomatic.com, which is a website that will give you a hyperlink for your recording. And then you can take that hyperlink and share it with anyone. And I could upload this recording to YouTube, which is awesome, which means that you can share your recording with anybody who can watch YouTube or who can access YouTube or even do the recording over. I could delete it and start it over again if I needed to. So if I was interrupted in the middle and unable to regroup, I would hit a redo. Now, editing features will involve an upgrade to the pro version of Screencast-O-Matic. One of your options is to save this recording as a video file and edit using another program if you would like to. Most of the time, I disregard edit and I use uh, the redo feature if I need to and these features. Save as a video file, save as a video file, upload to Screencast-O-Matic. Most of the time I use these two options, save as a video file or upload to YouTube. So in this example, I'm going to save as a video file. The nice part about saving to a video file with Screencast-O-Matic is that it saves your recording as an MP4, which is a very popular format. It can be edited by other programs. It can be later uploaded to your YouTube channel if you would like to. Give a file name to your video file. So you can go in and change that. Select a folder. You can choose whether or not you want the cursor highlighted and you can even turn on things like captions. As soon as you're ready, hit the green publish button. Make sure that you have a folder selected and hit publish. Be patient. Depending on the speed of your computer, Screencast-O-Matic can take a few minutes to convert your recording into a video file that can be watched by anyone or uploaded to YouTube later on. Notice that I do have the option to stop publishing if I would like to. Okay, so now my video is published. Here it is. I can play the video. I can browse the folder. And so that's it. That's all there is to screencasting. This concludes this tutorial. Have fun with your new 21st century skills.